Do you think he can repair that? Let's see. What is up, guys? Today, I'm going to show you how to fix big, giant rust holes on cars. And let's give him a shout out as well. Dylan uh, Kowalski. Kowalski? Kowalski? Hopefully we said that right. Anyways, this man is going to attempt to uh, fix that hole with all of what he has there, right? Now, I have a like, funny, I have a brand new car, but I, I see rust developing on my car, and I know it's hopeless at that point. But look at this dude. So this is an 07 Hyundai Accent with 200,000 miles on it. Well, if you're going to do a job like this, probably going to cost you about 100 bucks, to be completely honest. Um, so we're going to, we got two different types of Bondo body filler. We got the regular body filler. So Bondo body filler. Bondo glass. Then I also bought Bondo glass. The resin as well as the fiberglass. Resin glass really and fiberglass. Okay. And then if that's not enough, I also bought the metal mesh as well. I kind of know what the First metal mesh is. I don't know what the other stuff are. All the rust and sand everything really good. So you could do this by hand. Uh, you could use things like orbital sanders. We're going to be doing a little bit of both. I would um, use an I orbital. I've got a rust remover attachment for my drill for like five bucks. So that'll work really good. You're going to need some gloves, some tape. I like the birds uh, in the background, though, right? <laughs> can you hear the paint for this car? Actually, Soothing. The color. But you're going to need some primer, some rust reformer. This will prevent the rust from coming back. Uh, Ross, you can never stop like Ross from coming back, dude. Breathing and eye protection. That so be a lot isn't fun. true. And uh, let's get into it. All right, first thing I did was I took my rust remover attachment made by 3M onto my drill. I tried to jack up my car and take the wheel off, but the rust on the tire, I, I couldn't get it off. So I just went Ooh, back to you see how rusted that is? Trust me, some tire you can never... Back. Like right now, I know and my I dad has like... Little Bondo uh, like two wheels in the back. For the, just so the fiberglass could grab on. Trust me, yo. Oh, those wheels are sealed. Like he has drums in the back resin. of his car. And I really want to help him out to get a vehicle. And I really just don't know how to buy vehicles, though. It's like, I don't think those drums have ever been replaced. The brakes. So those are like, those are built to the car at this point. You can see here, I I was getting so frustrated with this stuff. It is just so sticky. And it's such a pain to work with. It looks disgusting. Fiberglass is disgusting, too, man. If that gets on your skin. They're aluminum and it's metal, you know, it shouldn't, it doesn't rust, it's aluminum, so, um, they're very flexible too, and actually I was able to form the shape of the fender pretty well with them, and I should have thought of this earlier, um, the concept's kind of the same as those, the metal Bondo patches, so, to me, I was like, you know, why not, why not try it out, it worked way easier than I thought it would, and then oh, I so kind of using like a, a Bondo glass resin to glue that in place. Now here I switch, I uh, do one more little layer of fiberglass resin, then I switch to the Bondo glass. This is a very thick version of Bondo. My buddy Mac came over, he's better at this than me, and he told me I was putting it on, trying to put it on too light, to put it on heavier, so I could just sand it down after. Okay. And that seemed to work a lot better. Make sure you mix this stuff in small batches because um, Dries. it hardens very fast and you'll end up yeah. a lot of it. If you yeah, yeah. Um, at least he, at least he said ahead of time, so you won't waste, you won't waste, you won't waste your stuff if you decide to do this. Very thick, harder one. It's got little pieces of strands of fiberglass in it, so you want to do this one first when you have big, um, big holes and stuff. So then um, after this, we took an orbital sander, started at a hundred grit, and then I moved to a two hundred. You can tell it's hardened already. To smooth it out a little better. Okay, then once you get that all smooth. I just wiped off the dust. You do not want to breathe this in, though. Some regular Bondo. This you do not want to breathe this in. Body filler. And this is easier to work with. It's, it's a lot thinner. You Sand do not want to breathe position. any of this stuff in. These are dis like, really disgusting. Like fiberglass, you don't want to breathe fiberglass in at all. Um, make sure to look at all the body lines of the car and just get the best you can. This is Bondo Spot Putty. It's for, like, the little pin pricks. Uh, then just kind of cleaned everything off with acetone and uh, started priming it with regular old automotive primer. Now, here... I'm using the paint I got off eBay, and I gave them my VIN number, my paint code, and everything, and it's not the right paint. It's basically, they basically just gave me like a charcoal color. Uh, <laughs> yeah, my paint actually Don't shop on eBay. It, and he's using a wrap-up can so too. You can see it's not even like... <laughs> but it did actually go on really smoothly, and you know what? It... Yo, dude is using a wrap-up can. Yo, I did my motorcycle with a rattle can, with a couple of rattle can, um, like this regular spray. And dude, when I was done, yo, I felt like I had holes in my finger. I'm telling you, it's not, this is not easy. <laughs> 
This is not easy, but y'all, kudos to this man. This man is doing a good job. This man is doing a fabulous job on this piece of car. It looks better than, you know, having a bunch of Bondo on the side of the car. This is just some automotive clear. I actually did two coats of this. I only show you one here. Look at this dude. But, <laughs> and uh, here's the final product. You see him switching fingers. He's using the thumb now. All right, guys. So there is the finished product. That does not uh, look bad, bad though. It's this. not bad. If you want to wait a day after the click button, you're going to wet sand it starting at 1,500 grit, working your way up to 3,000 grit, and then polish it with wax. But since... The color doesn't match. I'm not gonna really even waste, waste your time on it. Yeah, uh, yo, this wasn't bad though. Or so, but this was not bad. That, no, if you want to try this, definitely. I mean, follow this channel. Look at it. This channel is called me, Dylan Kowaleski. Yeah, definitely check him out. Man's really is selling merch and all that good stuff too. So